Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. Today what I want to do is um, create an extension or an add-in to creating a Word 2016 document that automatically fills with form data. And what I'm going to do is, is MPD here had a question. Is there a way to show a text in the text box is like some kind of example that banishes once you click on them and then reappear if you leave them blank. Well, yes, there is a way to do that. It's actually not that difficult to do. And I will show you how to do it in less in about five minutes. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is come and open my document and kind of show you what I did. So I'm going to double click this here. And of course, my form comes up. And as you can see, I've already entered a school name. So that automatically shows up there. So I'm going to type in John Doe. This is my research paper. And then if I hit the tab key, you'll see what happens. It goes blank. OK. Now I could type something in here. And if I hit tab and it leaves it, it sees that something is there and doesn't do anything. But if I were to go back, as you can see now, it blanked it out. Now that it's blank, if I were to hit tab, it goes back to Greenview Community College. So this is very simple. So I'm just going to, I'll click OK so you can kind of see that it does that. So the first thing we do want to do is we want to go to our developer tab. Okay, if you don't have the developer tab there, you can get to it by clicking on the file tab here. Options, Customize Ribbon, and Developer. And just make sure Developer is checked. Okay, click OK. So now once we click on the Developer tab here, we click on Visual Basic. And then I want to click a double click on my form here. And then I'm just going to click once on this text box here. And this is text box 3. If I wanted to name it like school name text box, that would probably be a good idea, but I didn't. So this is what we want. And with the properties, what we want to do is we want to make sure that both our text here say, so here's a property text. So if we double click here, we can type in, and I typed in Greenview Community College. But we also want the value here to be Greenview Community College as well. So these two places that we have to enter what we want to appear here. Okay. Then what we need to do is we need to double click on this box so that we can bring up our code. And as you can see, here's text box three. And then these are the places where we have code. So I have code when we enter the text box. I have code when we exit the text box. And then I also have code when we click on it with a mouse down. You notice there's no click. It's either mouse down, mouse move, or mouse up. So I just go with mouse down. Now for our enter, both the enter and the mouse down are going to have the exact same code. Okay, they're going to be it's going to be text box three dot text equals blank, and then you have to repaint it. Okay, same thing down here, text box three dot text equals blank, repaint. Okay, then what I do is under the exit, what it's going to do is it's going to check the value of that text box 3. And what it's going to do is say if me text box 3 dot value equals blank, then me text box 3 dot value equals Greenview Community College. So it goes back to what our original thing was. You can change this to whatever you want. You can set these rules however you want as well. So if you want to check it, so if you want to check to see what it said here, or however you want to do that, you can do that. Okay, but here it's just checking to see if it's blank. And if it's blank, then it goes back to the default. And that's it. That's all you need. So this is LearningEngineer.com. My name is Mike Langdon, and have a great day.